They're destroying the ring. Look out from the Titantron. He's here. He's coming to visit. He's coming to visit. He's coming to visit! With just one episode to go until Ungovernable, tonight the two men who will compete in one of the most anticipated matches in Metal history are going to be face to face, separated by a wall of security. John Moxley and Kurt Angle have the chance to confront each other one more time before they meet at Ungovernable. We also hope to hear from some of the participants competing in the Elimination Chamber at that event. Another match that's taken place at Ungovernable is Finn Balor going one on one with Pete Dunne. We haven't seen the Bruiserweight since Balor drove by in a car, driving a sledgehammer in his knee. We wonder what Dunn's condition will be at that event, but for now, Finn Balor is going to be competing in our opening contest. The first thing I want you to do is get that piece of trash out of my ring. Why would I waste my time beating up this nobody? It's insulting to a man of my talents. Be in the ring with someone as pathetic as that. Speaking of pathetic people, let's talk about the bruiserweight Pete Dunne. I'm supposed to have a match with him at Ungovernable, but he is nowhere to be seen. And I'll tell you why he's scared. He's scared to face the Prince because he knows. Oh my goodness. I know that music. That is the music of the bruiserweight Pete Dunne. But we haven't seen him since Bala drove down him in that car with the sledgehammer and oh no! He is back. And he's back with reinforcements. And Bala telling the Gorillas of Destiny to go after him, but Pete Dunn taking out the G.O.D. With that chair and a bitter end to Tamatonga. Pete Dunn has his knee taped up as a result of Bala's attack several weeks ago. And he may not be 100% as he said last week. But he will go one-on-one -on -one with Finn Balor at Ungovernable. And you know that Pete Dunne wants to get at Finn Balor in the worst way. The question is, will Pete Dunne's knee hold up in time for that event? Well, Balor and Dunne will compete at the pay-per-view, but another match taking place at Ungovernable will be for the Women's Championship. It is Ronda Rousey versus Trish Stratus. And earlier today, the contract was signed, sealed and delivered. Ronda is used to these big fight matches, as is Trish. But will the pressure of this potentially being her final opportunity get to Trish? We've seen the carnage Ronda's left since she became the champion. She broke the arm of Ember Moon, and it's highly likely she had something to do with the disappearance of Becky Lynch. So naturally, Trish would be worried. But if Ronda gets too cocky, Trish will take advantage and become a two-time women's champion. But the question remains, who is walking out of Ungovernable as the women's champion? Hey Brandy, your husband, he's got his match against Hangman Adam Page in a dog collar match at Ungovernable, right? One of the stipulations is there's no managers at ringside, so why don't you come to my hotel room? We can watch it together as your husband gets destroyed by the Hangman! Woo! And there you see the prize that will be on the line at Ungovernable, the hardcore title. And two of the men competing in that fatal four-way going one-on-one -on -one right now. It's months in the making. Rhino and Brody Lee. And a spike pile driver from Rhino. 
The Man Beast now setting up for the goal. And a drop kick from Brody Lee. Beautifully executed as Jake Roberts directing traffic. There's a set out power bomb, but a kick out from Rhino. And Brody can't believe it. He's going to have to do more to defeat Rhino here. Go for that discus Larry up and a gore. Big time gore from Rhino. And but from behind is Bobby Lashley with a steel chair. Lashley and Suzuki causing the DQ. Oh my. Well here is the music of the fourth man in the fatal four-way at Ungovernable. It's the monster among men, Ron Strowman, who's had his problems with all three of these guys. And he still wants to get at Lashley for costing him a shot at the metalweight title in that Battle Royal a couple weeks ago. And look at this. The strength of Strowman pushing the ring. They're shaking the ring. Look, it's, it's about to break. Rhino with a goal. Rhino Gore and Jake the Snake. And it broke the damn ring. The power of these four guys breaking the ring. Is this the sight we're going to see when they compete for the Hardcore Championship? Well, the ring is broken, and we're scheduled to have a match as Lashley and Braun fighting their way out. And Suzuki gonna be all alone in his match here right now against the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. But we don't have the time to fix the ring, so I guess they're just gonna be competing in what's left of it. Well, Sami Zayn says, why not? Let's do it. And Sami Zayn and Minoru Suzuki fighting in this match. It was scheduled and it looks like he's going to go ahead despite the fact the ring is in tatters. And look out! Tope Con, hello! The dive from Sami Zayn. Wipe it out, Minoru Suzuki. This is certainly going to be an interesting contest to say the least. And Sami Zayn, just one episode away from facing Seth Rollins at Ungovernable. Going one on one with Minoru Suzuki, but the blue thunder bomb doesn't connect. And what is Suzuki thinking now? And look at this now. Using the ring rope that's broken off to choke out Sami Zayn. And now, oh, look at this. Oh my god. A DDT on the ring post that was dislodged by Braun Strowman moments ago. And now here it is. The sleeper applied. Sami Zayn in trouble, but the slant on that ring means he can roll out of it more easily. But he's in trouble, and oh, look at this. Suzuki wants to use the championship as a weapon. But here's Seth Rollins to stop Suzuki. Rollins, who's going to face Zayn at Ungovernable, and look out for the Haluva kick. And Sami Zayn picks up the victory over Minoru Suzuki. It is the Intercontinental Champion picking up the victory. But all he sees is his challenger standing with his championship. And Rollins didn't even really want to give it back. Well, it will happen at Ungovernable. Seth Rollins versus Sami Zayn, who will leave as the Intercontinental Champion. Six men locked inside an impenetrable structure with a metalweight championship on the line. NLW Metal, NLW Metal presents Ungovernable live on pay-per-view. For early access to this event, visit www.patreon.com forward slash No Limits Wrestling. Hi Fireflies! Golly well the day has come and we've cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and I think now 
The funhouse is in tip-top shape. Because we've got a guest, gang. Do you want to hear the secret I've been keeping? You're not going to believe it, Fireflies. He's here. He's really here. And an ungovernable. You will see what he is capable of. Say hello to the fiend. Let me in. We're not going to let him get away with this. You just stay right here. I'll go find him. Hey, Cody, Goadster, I'm talking to you. Do you want to get your ass kicked right now? The invitation to my hotel wasn't for you, boy. Woo! How dare you talk to my wife that way, you son of a bitch. Cody, good luck against the hangman. You're gonna need it. Woo! Ric Flair never fails to amaze me. What a disgusting action by him and Hangman Page. Well, Hangman's gonna have to step in the ring with Cody out ungovernable. Speaking of that event, it is available right now in its entirety for just three dollars. Just go to www.patreon.com forward slash no limits wrestling. The link is in the description. Or if you want to wait, part one starts Saturday, April 10th. And we know that there's going to be a hardcore fatal four way. They broke the ring earlier. Lord knows what they're going to do when the hardcore championship is on the line at Ungovernable. Speaking of championships, the women's title also on the line. Ronda Rousey versus Trish Stratus. Stratisfaction guaranteed, or will Rousey escape with the title still around her waist? It is going to be brutal. Pete Dunne, he is not 100%. We saw that earlier tonight. His knee may be taped and banged up, but by God, he will go full force against Finn Balor at Ungovernable. It is a dog collar match. Cody Rhodes goes one-on-one -on -one with Hangman Page. There is supposed to be no outside interference, just two men with a vendetta against each other. It is for the Intercontinental Championship. Earlier tonight, Seth Rollins didn't really seem like he wanted to hand the championship back, but can he win it from Sami Zayn at Ungovernable? We will find out. One-on-one. -on -one. This has been brewing since September. Can the Olympic gold medalist beat the lunatic fringe John Marksley? We still have to wait and see what they've got in store for us later tonight with the guarded wall of security keeping them apart and the main event. It is for the Metalweight Championship, an Elimination Chamber match. Edge, Samoa Joe, the champion Tetsuya Naito, Shinsuke Nakamura, Drew McIntyre and John Morrison all competing for the Metalweight Championship, one of the biggest pay-per-views of all time, April 10th. Or you can watch the whole thing right now on Patreon for just $3. The link is in the description. Right now though, Moxley and Angle have some choice words for each other. Let's go to ringside and see what they have to say. At Ungovernable, we will see the match we have been waiting for since September. It will be John Moxley versus Kurt Angle. This is perhaps the biggest match in the history of metal. And tonight, you'll each have the opportunity to get your final words in before that match. Kurt Angle, you can go first. You know, Moxley, I used to hate you. I admit it, I used to hate your guts. I mean, what guy has the nerve to show up after two years gone from this company, come back with a new name, a new identity, sneaking up behind me and attacking me? That's how you wanted to make your mark, and it worked. But now, Mox, I don't hate you. Understand where you're coming from. After all, you knew by attacking me after I had the best match at WrestleMania that this would get you the most publicity, and it worked, Mox. All anybody was talking about was Moxley this, Moxley that. You haven't lost since you've been back. But that ungovernable, that all changes. You've awoken something in me, Moxley. Something I thought was gone. But at the pay-per-view, I'm going to give you the beating of a lifetime. I won the Olympic gold medal with a broken freaking neck. And that ungovernable, I will be 100%. And when you step into the ring with Kurt Angle, you will look into my eyes and realize you have made the biggest mistake of your life facing me. I'm going to make you tap marks. I'm going to break your damn ankle so badly 
that you're going to go on another two-year hiatus. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Are you done? Do you not see it? Do you not see what's happened, Angle? Look at us. September. I attacked you in September. It's been months, and you're still not over it. I said from the very beginning it was a personal angle, but if it wasn't before, it is now. I wanted to use you as a stepping stone. I'll admit it. You said it yourself. You're one of the best wrestlers, if not the best wrestler in the world today, that isn't named John Moxley. The trouble is, being the second best wrestler in the world only gets you so far. When you face me at Ungovernable, you're going in there with someone who will not quit. You can break my damn ankle and I will not tap out. I just don't have it in me. Which is a flaw I'm trying to work on, but I have too much damn pride to tap out to you, Kurt. And I know I've got a lot of fans here tonight. I know a lot of them don't want to see me get hurt, but here's the key difference between you and me, Angle. You pander to this audience. You bring up your Olympic gold medals any chance you get. It's been 25 years, dude. Let go of it. And you pander to this audience saying that you have good matches. I don't care about good matches. I'm not a people pleaser, Kurt. I will beat you up. I will end it within five minutes. And that's all it's going to take. And I'm not out here to have a five-star match. I'm out there to beat you. When I do, I'll be one step closer to the middleweight championship. And something else you should know about me, Kurt. I will do anything. And I mean anything to get ahead in this company. Just you wait. Well, what does Marksley mean by that? Oh, maybe this! Edge! Spearing Kurt Angle! And look out for John Morrison! And Drew McIntyre with a claymore to John Marksley. Marksley cheating to beat McIntyre last week and now Shinsuke Nakamura back at Angle! goes after him and Naito here as well Moxley and Angle fighting and look out for Samoa Joe Samoa Joe finally getting his hands on Naito after all these months Naito has the coquina clutch on it oh wait a minute where is what is John Morrison doing up there the carnage the brawl and Morrison oh my god Shooting star press from the top of the stage. The ring has imploded. There are bodies lying everywhere. Ungovernable. One episode away. What is going to happen in the elimination chamber?